Hey, I'm a bit sick. I don't know what's going on. I guess people decided that this week is just freaking FNAF week. We got the teaser trailer for the movie, and now we've got the freaking gameplay trailer for Ruin, so... I'm gonna do exactly what I did with the teaser trailer for the movie, watch it in full, get my honest reaction, and then do a little bit of analyzing, but god, I do not feel well at all today, so tomorrow, there'll be a full analysis video. I'm so sorry, I just, I don't feel up to it today. And once again, all the big YouTubers got to sent early, so they've got all their trailer reactions and analysis out, so... Oh boy, this is this is fun. Anyways, though, this is the official trailer for Security Breach Ruin DLC gameplay trailer, which is exciting. We didn't even get like a cinematic or a little tease. A full-on gameplay trailer is the first thing we're getting. So, yeah, if you're excited for the DLC, don't forget to scroll down, tickle that sub button. Let's hop into it. Steel Wolf Studios. Oh, Cassie, hello. I hope you get this message. What do you say, Cassie? I'm trapped here at the Pizza Plex. Or What's left of it? Ooh. I don't have time to go into how I got here, but you've got to help me out. Okay. So it is the main pizza Save flex, but it's all ruined please. and destroyed. It is Cassie. It's so dark down here. No freaking shot. Oh my god. Yup, there's the security bridge TV device. There's a whole bunch of devices. Run. Whoa, is that Monty? God, the animatronics look so terrifying. We can fight against them? When they jump scare us? Is that Freddy? Oh! Wait, whoa, why did we put on the banding mask? Who the hell are you? Ruin! Don't give up on me yet. I don't know, man. You seem pretty, he pretty hesitant. July! Oh, that's so soon! Okay, wow, that went by very quick. Oh, wow, there was a lot of stuff in there. Some amazing looks at the new characters and, um, new locations, I guess. It looks like there was a few new locations. Uh, this is the entrance to the Pizza Plex. We can see, uh, I think her name was Cassie? Cassie, I hope you get the- Yeah, Cassie. So that's the official uh, name for the DLC girl. So she, like, kind of jumps in from the, uh, the boarded-up entrance. What is going on here? So someone's like really trying to keep Gregory in and keep everyone out. Cassie, I hope you get this message. What is this? Okay. Looks like I'm little trapped. Chica, like one of those things that go back and forth into the water. Here at the pizza plex, or what's left of it. I don't have time to go into how I got here. But okay, yeah, so it, it looks like everything kind of mainly takes place back in the, the main attractions of the Pizza Plex, which is like, this is Monty Golf. We saw a bit of um the kitchen earlier on, the What's tunnels as well that, that Chica was in. I don't have time to go in. This looks to be some sort of like uh, entrance to the pizzeria as well. This maybe is the stairs going down to that place where we get the Mr. Hippo magnet. That's how I got here. But you've got to help me out. So based on Gregory's dialogue, I feel like he, he probably knows Cassie, right? I feel like they're probably friends. Because he's reaching out to her like, Yo, I'm stuck here. You gotta come help me, please. Don't know why he didn't call, like, an adult or the police. I feel like they'd be of more use than, I don't know, probably like an 11-year-old girl. But whatever, Gregory. This is the endo section. Or no, this is the daycare, actually. This is the daycare. Save me, Cassie. Please. Uh, choose... Uh, or close forever, actually, not choose. Close forever. So dark down here. This is Chica's bakery, and then we get a POV of of Cassie, right? This is this is us playing as Cassie. Look at that brand new model for Roxanne, dude. They look so terrifying. And then we got in a some sort of device here that we can scroll with. I'm not sure what that's for. Look at this. I'm not sure how well you're gonna be able to see it, but like all the the not open, like, closed down, do not cross. This appears to be outside of the, um, again, this is the daycare, this is the superstar, um, gift shop. Right down here is the, the actual theater for the daycare, so a whole bunch of areas are most likely going to be boarded off. Looks like we can't go this way because of all the, all the crates and this endo blocking our path. And usually the endos don't come up to this section, so I feel like they're going to be all around... The pizza era may be taking the place of the old staff bots. Chica as well, uh, walking around. This is the Glamrock Salon. Another place I don't think Chica typically can go to. So I, I do wonder if all the characters 
now have the ability to walk around every single area, every single attraction. That'd be insane. That was kind of what I think we all wanted with the main game, where there was always the looming threat of everyone and anyone can be in any location you go to. So this is, again, that, that security breach TV device. So we were right when we speculated it will be used in the game. This is the old device we saw uh, a few shots ago. Press E to use. So it looks like this is our camera station. So it looks like we don't have a Faz watch. We now have a, a location, a dedicated location we have to go to to view each camera. And a whole bunch of different UI layouts for the cameras as well. This is Roxy's Raceway. Let me move my camera quick. The map is still here. We can still zoom in and out. Um, what does that say? Interact, I think? Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but we have some mechanics we can use while in the cameras. Different cameras we can select. So, again, very, very interesting change to the cameras themselves. What is this? Some sort of puzzle. Uh, maybe this is a charging station? Or maybe that's just how we activate certain puzzles. Here we have like a Roxanne walkie-talkie. So, are we gonna keep communicating with Gregory throughout the whole DLC? That's gonna be interesting. Hmm. There's Monty. A good shot of Monty. Dude looks terrifying. We get a closer up shot of his, his brand new jump scare animation later on. But holy crap, bro, he's got like no, nothing left of his suit. We can drive... What are we in right here? I'm not sure what this is. The Pizzaplex logo appears. This might be a cutscene. Looks like we're riding one of these... Oh, I wonder if it's one of the, like, attractions in Monty's Gator Golf on the Catway. Uh, the Catwalks that we can ride on. Because that kind of... This kind of looks like the Catwalks. Here's Chica back in the... Oh boy, what is this area? I, I, I'm not entirely sure. That might be the bakery based on these kind of designs of the walls. Oh yeah, this is a, this is an ice cream cone. So I, I think this is the bakery. So brand new ways to like sneak around. It looks like Monty's jump scare. Where is this? This is, where is this? Maybe back in Roxanne. Roxanne's wait, uh, raceway. So we can hold back against the jump scare. I don't know if that's like just a, a thing we do during the jump scare animation and we die anyways. Because it looks like it does cut to st cut to the uh, the static. Yeah, they left in like one frame of the static. So maybe there's not a, a mechanic to like try and get out of the jump scares, but that's interesting. So we got Chica on some conveyor belt. Okay. Freddy. Hmm. So Freddy's still here. Let's go back a bit more. Freddy's still here. He's still moving around. Uh, don't know if he's going to be on our side or not. <laughs> Everyone. Um, yeah, I think these are just like extra animations for the jump scares. Because like right here, we're, we're, we're definitely caught. We're screwed. This is Roxanne. And then we get Eclipse. I pray that's their name. Because that's kind of the, um, oh, we'll get to this scene, because what the hell's happening here? This is kind of what everyone wanted for the DLC. I know it was one of the main things I wanted was a, uh, a version of the daycare attendant that was half moon, half sun, like half good, half evil. Like a, a full-on Jekyll and Hyde type situation, which I'm very excited about. I'm glad it's actually, like, confirmed. And you can see a bit more of their endo. They changed up the endo model for, for the daycare attendant. And then we're back in the, <laughs> we're back in the daycare, inside the daycare, and we put on the Vanny mask. And when we put it on, we get a bit of static, and we get whatever the hell this is, and we can see a whole bunch of stuff. And then we get this, which I'd assume is probably some version of Afton, or this hand here is interesting, uh, just based on how past... FNAF games and trailers and teasers have gone. I'm assuming this is Afton, or maybe it's some other form of Vanny, seeing as the scene comes right after us putting on her mask. And then... Logo. 
Don't give up on me yet. Don't give up on me yet. That's a weird thing for Gregory to say. Because I feel like he wouldn't want us to give up on getting him. I don't know. Again, I'm sick, so my brain's not fully working right now. And then July. That's a lot sooner than I was expecting. I'll, I'll be honest. I, I thought it was going to be like... Well, I guess it is kind of summer, so... Hmm, I don't know. But like, May, June, July. That's like two months from now. Jesus Christ. Oh, they are doing kind of something I was worried about where it was start pushing marketing very, very close to the release date, which is something that happened with the main game, and uh, it didn't turn out too hot because it, it was all buggy and stuff, but I trust it well that they've playtested the hell out of this DLC because Lord knows they, they can't mess this one up. But that was my reaction and analysis for the gameplay trailer for Security Breach Ruin. Again, apologies if I sound disgusting. I'm unfortunately a bit sick, but... Hopefully tomorrow, I will have a full analysis, proper analysis for you guys coming out uh, again very soon. This is very exciting. Again, I, I'm shocked it's coming out so soon, but I am I have full trust in Steel Wool. So, yeah, a whole bunch of stuff to look forward to. This has been a crazy week. Thank you all so much for sticking with me with all these news and all these videos coming out. I've had a blast so far getting back into making videos. So that's going to do it for this video once again, hopefully soon. I'll see you all for a proper analysis. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.